Hunter Chance. Hey, thank you for speaking to us on your very busy day uh, for uh, Power Rangers Dino Furry. Oh, no. <laughs> well, uh, thanks for having us. <laughs> but must be exciting the fact that, you know, the second half of the second season is com coming to the rest of us in, I want to say like in 48 hours. It's is, is it kind of frustrating that you had to wait for so long just for the second half of the season? <sighs> well, <I don't>... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it's not frustrating, but the anticipation was killing us. Yes, absolutely. I'm like, oh, what, just, just come out already, please. Come on. Yes. But, yeah, 48 hours. Oh, my gosh. That's, that's nuts. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> It, it is very exciting. So, um, so I want I want to hear it from um, both both of you. In in your words, is why do you think you know Power Rangers have this longevity for so many years? Why don't you start, James? Um, I think there's a lot of reasons. I think I think um, how inclusive it is with uh, all different races and people from different backgrounds and coming from different situations. Um, it really tries to, I mean, throughout its, its history it has tried to incorporate all kinds of different people from different lives. Um, I think that Power Rangers always fight for what's right and they try to do their best and they may not always succeed their first try, but they never stop trying. Um, there's a lot of great lessons in there. Um, and I remember watching it as a kid, like, no, like I could see that even as like an eight year old kid, I was like, oh man, they never give up. And, you know, there, there's so many special things about it. I think um, that that's how I see it. How about you? Yeah, Hunter? I, yeah, I feel like every season has a character or like a scene or something that literally anybody can resonate with. So I just feel like it speaks to a whole volume of just like the entire world. I don't think that it's ever like one specific avenue. Um, like Chance says, there, there's a lot of lessons to be learned, but we learn them in like really great ways, like uh, teamwork and, you know, like he says, we don't give up. And I think that that's a big thing. I think that it shows that like anybody and everybody can be a ranger as long as they like be themselves and as long as they like try hard. So I love that. <laughs> yeah. I, I lo love that answer too. Now, <laughs> I think the most wonderful thing about Dino Fury is that we could see the evolution of your characters, um, you know, from, from season to season, episode to episode. Uh, Hunter, why don't you talk about the evolution of your character, um, you know, where it's been and where it's going? Without yeah, well, <laughs> yes. I can't really say how it ends, but... <laughs> We start off with just, you know, my character is just this, like, normal teenager working a job, just trying to get, like, life, and she was raised. Oh. Buzz Blast, but she also, like, tried to incorporate her love for the paranormal into her work, and her love for the paranormal all stems from trying to figure out, like, what happened to her parents, so... I think it's nice that we see her trying to figure that stuff out on her own. But then as soon as she becomes a ranger, she realizes her team will help her in no matter way to get any kind of made there for her to, to do that. You see her by herself doing it. And then like you get to her and her teammates and then I don't know, maybe towards the end, you can see some conclusion. <laughs> How about for you, Chance? Um, can you repeat the question? I'm sorry. The, evolu the evolution <laughs> of your character. <laughs> the evolution of your character. Can you talk uh, about it? Um, I think in the beginning, you see Javi. Um, he's, he's not like an antisocial character, but I think in the beginning, you kind of get this lone wolf vibe from him. Like he doesn't really have maybe like a tight knit group of friends or whatever. Um, he's got his sister and that's the closest person in his life. His dad is not very supportive of him um, with his music and his, you know, whatever. And um, he's just kind of doing his own thing, trying to do the best that he can with what he knows how. And then 
he goes to the buzz blast and he gets sent to find and investigate this nephrite orb. And he sees this moment where, you know, the villains come and something needs to be done. That thing can't fall into the wrong hands. And he doesn't have anyone telling him what to do. He just knows it's the right thing. And he goes for it. And he takes it and eventually becomes a part of the Power Rangers team. And he finds a group of lifelong friends that kind of help him come out of his shell more and, you know, support him with his music when, you know, no one else did besides his sister. And, and he gets that loving family that he's kind of been like, um, I don't know, probably a part of him was craving and like that, that friend group. Uh, so it, that's something that's really special for Javi. And as the seasons continue, you see him grow even more comfortable with music and come out of his shell and develop that passion even more. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm proud of him. <laughs> I, I, I bet you are, because I was gonna, I was going to ask was like how similar you are to your own character. And I, ha I have a feeling chance you are very similar to your, your character because you're, you're a musician too, right? I am. Yeah. I, I've, I've been a musician for, I guess, since I was 16 or 17 now um, and about to be 25 this year. Uh, and uh, it was really cool being able to incorporate that like into my character and bring my own passion and love for music into him and kind of root myself in the character that way. Uh, so that was really special for me. How, how about for you, Hunter? How similar is you to your character? Um, I think she's very, we're very similar in a sense of like attitude and personality. I myself am not a writer. I don't think that I could ever be a journalist, maybe a video journalist. I could totally do that. Written wise, I'm not really sure. Um, I don't not believe in ghosts, but I would like proof. But when it comes to like attitude and personality, I think they're very upbeat and positive and they're very optimistic. And I think uh, we both are just like very like logical but like with our heart I think we believe everybody has good in them and we believe in the best in every situation and we know that as long as like we work together we can get through anything so I feel like we're very similar on that aspect that is that is good that is great let, let, let me throw some offbeat questions to uh, bo both of you here how okay. has Power Rangers changed your life Hunter started us off oh wow um you want a chance to go? <laughs> he knows his answer, but oh, I don't know. I feel like it's just changed in so many ways. I feel like I, I feel like I've actually learned a lot from my character and like the whole process of filming and everything. Um, I know that we said that we're like very similar, but I feel like I never really not to get like too sappy or anything but I never had like a group of friends like Amelia does so I feel like I learned a lot from that aspect on like trusting people and like being able to allow friends in and like that kind of aspect of it um and then also just like when I talk to little kids little kids specifically who like love the show and stuff it's just like so heartwarming when uh, like any kind of child comes up in, in my costume I'm just like you like you like you like my character that much that you want to wear that so I think the the impact of our show alone has even taught me a lot not even just my character just the show alone <laughs> what about for you Chance how how has Power Rangers changed your life <laughs> um god I could I could talk forever on <laughs> on that uh, <laughs> I think, um, I mean, I guess I can say it's uh, introduced me to the world of acting. I was, I was never an actor before Power Rangers and uh, it taught me a lot about myself and what I'm capable of. Um, being like, obviously I, I watched the show, but being a part of the show, like you, you feel that even more like about um, teamwork and, and creating a bond. And now I have um, some lifelong friends uh, who are coming to my wedding uh and that's something that you know, i never would have met them not for the show so it's definitely changed my life in that way um yeah yeah and, and i could keep going but we'd be here all day yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that 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 is something now i i, I want an honest answer on on, di on this offbeat question here is do you did you buy and play with your own action figure then, go for yes. it. <laughs> true it's true about three of them 
I plead guilty. <laughs> I plead guilty. <laughs> I remember that was the question I asked Simon Bennett. I was like, so do you know when our action figures are coming out? <laughs> that was one of his first questions. <laughs> yeah, guilty. I would, so so Hunter, you you also have multiple action figures play play with them too, or? I do. I think I actually have like six uh, in the box at my house. And I think my parents have like three and then I have like two out of the box because like, who doesn't want to I mean, take you back to being a kid, you know, playing with the figure in it, let alone like be you and your friends. Are you kidding me? Can I have my friends play with me as figures? That's insane. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let, let, let me throw one more offbeat question because you, you two are doing a really good job at all the curveballs and fastballs. I'm throwing everything at you. But people got to know is the fact that you, you know, Chance, you're wearing black all the time. Hunter, you're wearing pink all the time. <laughs> and we want to know is, do you ever get tired of wearing those colors? And obviously on Zoom right now, it doesn't look like you're getting tired. Hunter, start us off. <laughs> um, no, I mean, I I went through a phase of like where everything I wore was like black, but like for the majority of my life, pink has been a favorite color of mine. When I started like being like a in my late teens, I started liking yellow. And so like yellow and pink are definitely my favorite colors. So definitely was exactly feel like there's not a shade of pink that's um unnerving to the eye. So pretty excited about that when I just had to buy more pink clothes so that I could wear pink on like zooms and stuff I was not mad about it it was just a shopping trip for me <laughs> um I, I, I've been wearing I think like when I was 19 or 20 like just a solid black t-shirt became like the thing that I would just always wear so I've, I've, I've just always been wearing black um and when I auditioned for um Power Rangers and I met with Chip and uh, the casting director Iris in Marina Del Rey we didn't know what color Rangers were going to be but I showed up not even thinking about it I showed up in a black t-shirt black belt black dress slacks and black dress shoes and and then I went and introduced myself and had the whole meeting and then I left thinking about it I was like like after I got the role Ranger like part of the reason because I just wear black all the time Okay, but I thought I was auditioning for yellow, and I wore yellow throughout the entire process, literally from start oh to finish, God. I wore yellow. I didn't know that. Yeah, I did. For some reason, through the grapevine, someone was like, it's going to be yellow. I didn't do my research on a sense of what um, Sentai version they were adapting, and obviously there's no yellow mm. <laughs> in Ryu <laughs> Soldier, so I should have known. But um, I wore yellow throughout everything because I was like, yeah, I want them to see me as the yellow ranger, you know, because, you or, know, the characters only wear their colors. So, right. <laughs> and, and we don't even have the yellow ranger. <laughs> Got gold. <Nope. laughs> oh, that's true. Well, that's it. well let, let me wrap it up with uh, one, one quick thing, because uh, I want uh, you two to tease us for the rest of the season. I've seen it and, and I don't I don't want to reveal anything except that. I want to say, if I say anything, I would get teary eyed. So I'll let you guys uh, pitch it to the to the viewers on on what's going to happen. I think uh, getting teary eyed is actually a great. Uh, I'm not an actual adjective, but a, a great like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think. Yeah, just there you go. Thank you. Words are complicated. Um, <laughs> I also think um, what I've been just saying is like binge watch all 11 if you want, but just do not split up the last three episodes. Yeah, they, they all go together. You don't want to miss it. It's like, tear, yeah, you definitely probably will get to it, especially if you've been watching since the beginning and you're invested in the show. Okay. Like a lot of stuff that goes on. It's very emotional and touching and uh, intense. Um, yeah. It's it's really great. I'm really excited. Yeah. <laughs> 48 hours. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm excited for everyone to see it too, and I'm also excited. I hope you know for for season three for you guys. So, oh, thank you, thank you very much. Hey, We're thank excited. you for this for, for this conversation. Yeah. Let's do this again next time. <laughs> of course, yeah. Thank you.